weird thing at CVS, but they also sell them on Amazon. It's a pill crusher. I asked the guy, well, lately, when I have to crush pills, I just put the pill on a plate and I use the, a, a large spoon. you got to be careful because the pill pieces will go flying all over the room. And you really need a large spoon so that you can kind of put downward pressure because it wants to flake off and maybe shoot all over the place. So I asked the pharmacy guy today, the pharmacy tech, I said, what do you recommend? Should I buy a pill crusher or should I buy one of those? Oh, God, well, I can't even remember what it's called now. Uh, um, a mortar and a mortar, what is not a pastel, I don't know what it's called, a mortar thing. One of those things they use in the pharmacy they used decades ago, centuries ago, to crush pills. He says, don't buy anything, just use a, for, a spoon uh, to crush it at home. So, like, I went, well, this is only 10 bucks, let me go buy it. I know they sell that mortar and what is it, pastel, or I don't know what it is. Um, for about $22, and probably better than this. The biggest complaint people have is that when they machine the stainless steel, there's still ridges in it. They don't really smooth it down. They don't sand it and make it a polished finish. So people complain that the meds get stuck in some of the ridges of the metal. Who cares? You should be able to brush it off. Um, same thing happens if you do it on a plate. It gets stuck in some of the... This is going to happen on a porcelain mortar thing or a plate. So I bought this for 10 bucks and I powdered the uh, her antibiotic for her dental thing, and it worked. I put it on the food, put it on some salmon, and she gobbled it down immediately. The thing is, the trick is, you can't use a lot of food because if you sprinkle it, you would think if you sprinkle it all over the top of the food, all over the place, then they're bound to get the pill, but they're gonna, they might avoid sections of that food. Sometimes they can, sometimes they can't. Um, if you sprinkle it in one area, they are definitely going to avoid that area. So you want to sprinkle it, you want to powder the thing, but you also don't want to give them a lot of food. So I gave the dog a tiny amount of food, just a tiny amount, because you want to put it out saying, this is your food, if you don't eat this, you're going to starve. You're not getting any more food. And they might play that game and, and starve. And then you end up throwing the stuff out. So I already told, my vet's already know, um, I'm probably going to have to get a lot of pills because she, we're, I'm going to be throwing the stuff out until we figure this out. So this is an important pill. Three. She got it Wednesday night after her MRI. She let me give her the pill um, Thursday morning and night, and I'm thinking, okay, we're doing good, but, and then Friday she let me do it, but she was kind of pissed, and I thought, tonight? Friday night, she's going to go for the bite. She went blind a few days ago, and these pills are really important. And she was still able to try for the bite, and then she ran down the hallway and ran out of the room. So I ground it up. This is only half a pill. If this doesn't work, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm looking really closely right now. That didn't grind as much as I wanted it to. That's not good enough. That is definitely not good enough. You need this stuff powdered. I might have to return this. I don't know. It's so convenient, though, if I can, what they want you to do is move it around and try to keep tightening and loosening until you get this thing powdered and crushed. But I'm going to put this in all amount of salmon. I made like two and a half pounds of salmon today. I'm going to put this in an itty bitty piece of salmon and put it on the plate, an itty bitty piece. And if she doesn't eat it, she's not going to get it. Then I'm going to have, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I seriously don't know what I'm going to do. If I start skipping pills, we are talking, she could die. She could die or she could stay blind for the rest of her life. So this is a tough one. That's why I didn't want to play games. I just wanted to pop it in her throat and get this all done. Um, let me see if I can mash this up more. I'll get it on some salmon and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'd rather this powder residue be in her mouth, but I would rather it not be as long as she's going to take the pill in the food. There was a piece that stuck up on there. I kind of ground it off. Um, so I was going to put it on this stuff over here, but I figured put it on this piece. She's probably not going to eat this thing. She's probably, she loves salmon. She's probably not going to touch it. I'm going to put a little water on there. I hope that it soaks in a little bit. And I'm going to put this plate on the floor, and I'm going to leave it there. And I know this dog loves salmon, so she has a choice. She can eat this and make herself happy, or she can leave it alone and starve until tomorrow morning and stay blind. And tomorrow morning, we're going to play the same game. People are saying cream cheese. I might be able to mash it in cream cheese. I don't know if she's going to handle it. I don't have cream cheese.
peanut butter. She loves peanut butter. She might taste it and say, this is gross. I don't want to touch it. Um, uh, I've done it on scrambled eggs before. She might like scrambled eggs, but I did a, another pill on scrambled eggs two days ago, and she didn't touch the scrambled eggs. I sometimes do it with chicken, and sometimes she eats it, and sometimes she says, I'm not going to touch the chicken. So we're talking an absolute nightmare right now where this could cause this dog to not get healthy. My last hope. Um, I put the powder on the top tiny little bit of water to let it absorb and then I stack some of the other pieces of salmon that were here on top. She's gonna know what's in here. The whole thing is she loves salmon. Is eating the salmon and tasting the pill worth tasting the pill or is it better off not to eat this and to starve? We'll see. I'm gonna try it right now. I don't think she's gonna do it because she's impossible. I seriously did not think she was gonna eat it. I know she hates this stuff. I didn't think she was going to eat it. Was that good? Are you a good girl? Are you a beautiful little lady? Did you do a good thing and eat your pill? I'm very proud of you. This might be the way we're going to be doing this. I might be going to Costco and buying lots of salmon. You want more food? You hungry? Okay. She's had a lot of salmon today. This is going to be the way we're going to do this. I can guarantee you... If it wasn't salmon, she wouldn't be doing this right now. Like I said, I did cheese and chicken and her favorite dog food the last two days, and it didn't work. So, this is a salmon girl. Salmon Pammon, are you happy? I love you. I want you to get your vision back. Okay? I want you to see again. Good girl. Good girl. I love you. Good girl.